What's up, guys? How are you? It is time for a Tuesday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. I'm your host, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk. Matt, to follow me across all socials. This podcast being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. The promo code is JUICE in the search bar. That knocks off $30 off the already 50% off site-wide sale going on right now at OmahaSteaks.com for the semi-annual sale. Juice in the search bar, 30 bucks off. Minimum purchase may be required, 100%. Satisfaction guaranteed at OmahaStakes.com. All right, three and one last night. Could have been a sweep if I just bet the under. Should have just bet the under. My fault. My gosh. We're hitting now at over 70% for primetime unders. It's unbelievable. How bad is Zach Wilson? Yikes. That is a bad football team. I know their defense is good, but the Jets stink. I mean, just up and down, they stink. It's unbelievable. Chargers aren't good. Chargers, I mean, defensive touchdowns, and I don't, I mean, that game stayed under somehow. I mean, they had the football, a guy dropped the ball in the end zone, that tight end, like literally the ball hit him in the, in the chest plate. Like, what do we, these are pro football players. Are you kidding me? I didn't bet it, and I was like, man alive, the over should have hit in that game, depending on what number you bet on, obviously, right? 40, 40 and a half, 41, depending on what number you played, but Wow. That was something. So should have bet the other. My bad. But we get basketball right. Oregon with a double digit win. We get basket the NBA right with the Nuggets coming down. And I mean, my gosh. Hopefully you guys took a halftime number on on the Nuggets like I did. But boy, oh boy, <laughs> Nuggets second half. Woo, baby, that was impressive. And then we hit on the what was the oh the hockey bet the Bruins plus one twenty the plus one fifteen the Bruins won the game outright so. That's the last time we're going to see the Bruins be dogs, okay, till December. They're not going to be dogs again until December. That was an automatic play. You bet that. <laughs> I was arguing with my co-host on BVB. He was like, it's time for the stars. I was like, I don't care. I mean, like, that was a general principle play just because I was taking the Bruins because the Bruins are the best team in the Eastern Conference, and I was getting plus money. Swayman and Net actually was a good thing for us. Allmark had a kind of a shaky game the last time out, so Swayman's been phenomenal. He's 6-0. and unbelievable so I only have one hockey bet I have one college football bet I have one college basketball bet I might add an NHL play later in the day so I may have four bets I need to kind of do a little more research I'm not in love with the NHL slate tomorrow I just want to spend a little more time taking a look at a couple different things like the Sabres and the Hurricanes seems too easy of an over six and a half. That just seems to be a little bit on the too easy side. The Jets and the Blues to go under six, a little bit on the easy side. And then, you know, over six and a half for the Avalanche and the, De and the Devils. But the only play we're going to make, and we're going to start with it, and this is at DraftKings, the Flyers are plus 120 on the puck line. The San Jose Sharks have given up 20 goals in their last two games. They have lost 10 to 1 and 10 to 2. I have no idea how in the world that number is plus 120. I know the Flyers aren't that good. I don't care who's in net. The San Jose Sharks are historically bad. Nine consecutive games the puck line has hit. They are 0 10 and 1 on the season. We are taking the Flyers on the puck line as just a principal play. Plus 120 at DraftKings. Bet it and forget it. It's going to be a late night for you East Coast people. I don't, this is just, I can't believe we're getting plus money. I honest to gosh cannot believe we're getting plus 120 on this, given what the Sharks have looked like. Automatic play, one unit, plus 120. Flyers, minus one and a half. If you want to get funky, and you can if you want, you can do alt lines. And, I mean, I knew somebody who hit a plus 580 bet with the Penguins because they laid three and a half goals and they got plus 580. I mean, you can you can do that. Uh, let's see. For alternative spreads, um, let's see if, what would be. I'm going to look at DraftKings, what they would give us for alternative spreads. Well, I mean, you can look around. So, you can see. There's plenty of bets here to jump into if you want to in game lines. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Nope, there's nothing there. Yeah, so play around with it. I mean, you can do flyers. 
in the in this in, in regulation is, is minus one thirty if you want to jump on that. But I mean, you can do a lot. You you can really play around play around with this and really have a, a lot of fun with alternative totals or, or alternative spreads for this one because <laughs> who knows how many goals the Flyers are going to score? Officially, one unit plus one twenty. Flyers. I don't mind minus two and a half. I don't mind minus three and a half. I don't mind just laddering this until the Sharks show some signs of life. Ladder it if you want. <laughs> three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. You're going to get monster money on it. Plus five, six, seven hundred on it. So officially, my, uh, plus 110, one unit. Flyers, puck line against the San Jose Sharks. I don't care who plays in net. It doesn't matter. Second bet. Let's go to college football. Let's talk a little bit about Ball State in Northern I Northern Illinois. So, we backed Ball State last week in Maction, and we were rewarded for doing so. They what, took on Bowling Green. They lost by three as five-point dogs. That was good. It was six points. We bet it. It closed at five. This time around, Ball State is catching 10. Ball State plus 10. Ball State has covered three straight games. On the road against Bowling Green, at home against Central Michigan, and at home against Toledo. They were 17.5 point dogs, 5.5 point dogs, and 6 point dogs, or 5 point dogs, when it closed. On the flip side, Northern Illinois has not covered their last two games. In fact, they lost on the road to Central Michigan as 6.5 point favorites last time out. They lost by 6. At home against Eastern Michigan, laying 11.5, they only won by 7. The games before that against Toledo, Akron, and Ohio, they won and they, or the, sorry, they covered. They didn't win. They lost to Toledo by two as 13 half point dogs. They beat Akron on the road by 41 as four point favorites. And they beat Ohio at home as five and a half point dogs. They won by 10. But, I mean, Rocky Lombardi's a very old quarterback. has been around for a very long time. But I like what we saw out of that Ball State Cardinals offense last week. I, I thought that they were playing well. The running attack was really looking good. The RPOs really started to click. I mean, they ran the ball incredibly effectively, and I think they should have similar success here running the football up against Northern Illinois. So I don't think they have a great run defense here, a chance to pick up big yards on the ground and keep this game close. I'm going to take the 10 points here. It's Ball State, plus 10. I know they're on the road. I know Northern's a really good football team. But look, at home, Northern Illinois is 1-3 ATS. On the road, Ball State is 1-3-1. But the one game that they covered was the last game. I'm taking the 10 points. Ball State, plus 10. 1.1 units on the road up against Northern Illinois for Maction here tonight. And one college basketball play for us, the Creighton Blue Jays, they are taking on Florida Atlantic. The number is 30 or 31. I'm not laying 31 points, okay? I I just, I'm not going to do it. But did a little research, picked up this little nugget. The Creighton Blue Jays have averaged 84 and a half points over the last 23 years in their opening game of their season. Now, doesn't mean anything for Florida Atlantic. So sorry for Florida A and M. Not really. I said anything for Florida Atlantic. Sorry, Florida A and M. Much different. Florida Atlantic went to the Final Four. FAU. Much different. This is Florida A and M. They came in. They were. They went. They won seven games last year. They have a completely new roster, and they're picked. I think second to last in the SWAC. So no one's expecting big things out of Florida A and M. The Rattlers are going to Omaha. Where good luck. The Jays are a top ten team. And this is where Coach McDermott tends to let the young kids play late in the game and they score. They don't really take the foot off the gas because they let the young kids go out there and the crowd loves it. They love it. I don't think Florida a is going to score all that much, but the Creighton team total at DraftKings is 82 and a half. As I said, 84 and a half is their average in their opening game over the last 23 seasons. I think the Jays scored 90 tonight, to be quite honest. It's not going to shock me if they score 100, but these are the games in which they like to run and gun and shoot threes and pad stats and have a whole lot of fun here because there's going to be a lot more difficult games coming down the pike for the Creighton Blue Jays. Over 82.5 team total, the Creighton Blue Jays tonight up against Florida A&M 
at minus 120, 1.2 units down on that. Okay, so three bets going here, maybe four. There may be a hockey ad. If I do it, I'll put it in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat. Good start to the week, up two units. I did some accounting, by the way. In the month of October, we won nearly four units, so we had another winning month, even though the end of October was really bad. At one point, I was up 13 units in October, <laughs> and that's how much I lost and gave it back, or I just got a little less than four units that we won. So still a winning month, but obviously we went into November with not a great record, stumbling our way into November. We did win money in October as a whole, which is good. Um, so we'll see what November looks like. October was what was a winning month. September was a winning month. So back-to-back -back winning months. Let's see what we do here into November. Update on the Splash Sports contest the pick contest with seven games against us uh, our seven games straight up every single week ghost 80 has got two entries and he's doing pretty darn well with his entries although we're getting it's getting a little bit tighter at the top so we get to start kind of watch this a little bit as to how it's all going to play out but ghost 80 has 49 of 63 games right crow uh C Crow won 48 of 63. Same thing with Jumbotron 719 at 48 points. And Ghost 80's other select second selection also has 48 points. So he has 49 and 48. He'd clean up not bad. He probably he right now he'd take down about four dimes from this hundred buck entry to clear four thousand. Not bad. We have a litany of guys at 47, but the leader, if you're curious, is 49. Picks correct 49 uh, out of so far out of the seven picks over nine weeks, 63 picks. That's pretty good. 49 out of 63 is pretty good. 48 is second place. 47 is tied for third place for that. So we will watch that obviously coming up here on that. Uh, okay. So I will have most likely a bet for us in the Discord channel. Be watching for that at some point during the day today. If there's a hockey bet I like, which I'm eyeballing a couple different hockey plays, so we'll jump in with that. But officially, we are going with the Creighton Blue Jays team total over 82 and a half at minus 120. We are going with the puck line for the Flyers at plus 120 up against the San Jose Sharks. And we're taking 10, taking the 10 points for Ball State on the road against Northern Iowa. Sorry, Northern Illinois here in Maction. All right, three units. Most likely four units officially in play after a three and one day yesterday. Let's do it again. Let's go three and one again here for us. The NBA is off, by the way, for the election day. It's election day across the country, so no games in the NBA at all today. So that's why no NBA plays here today on a Tuesday. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me on socials at Sports Talk Matt each and every morning. The Daily Juice Podcast. I was being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com. Yeah.